From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here in studio with OU beat writer Joe Masato. Joe, basketball season wraps up tonight in Minneapolis, but obviously coaching positions are open, and a big one is UCLA, and this has been open for a long time. Finally, the fingers of the search have reached us here in Oklahoma. Right. <laughs> a little bit unsuspectingly, though, right? Totally unexpected. I mean, Lund Kruger, I think, was a candidate for this job for maybe two hours on Sunday night. Uh, the Los Angeles Times reported that Kruger and Tennessee coach Rick Barnes had been reached out um, for the job. Two coaches with, you know, similar uh, levels of experience to this area, both kind of on the older side, both probably safe hires, but not a super home run that UCLA is probably looking for. But it was surprising to hear, um, but the speculation didn't last long because OU sent out a statement from Lon Kruger at about 9.30 on Sunday night, a couple hours after the news broke that Kruger was a candidate, basically denying he ever interviewed for the job or denying any contact with UCLA. It did surprise me when this came out, Joe, because I mean, Lon Kruger, as you mentioned, he, you know, he's been in coaching a long time. Uh, seems like he's a guy that will likely finish his coaching career at Oklahoma. But, I mean, I guess at this point, UCLA's had this opening for so long. They weren't going to buy out Jamie Dixon, a guy that they seem to be interested in. And then that fell apart a week ago. They really seem to be kind of in scramble mode. But Lon doesn't really seem like the guy that they would likely go with, I wouldn't think. Yeah, I, I just don't think he checks a lot of the boxes in that, like, he, he's, you know, we've talked about he's, he's such a safe hire and probably would do, you know, a good job with the program. But at this point, if you're looking at a rebuilding job at UCLA, Lon is 66. Yeah. I don't think you're really, um, maybe you're counting on him coaching three or four more years, but is that really what UCLA is looking for at this point? I would think at a program of that caliber, you're not looking for a fill-in. You're looking for a guy that, that can be your coach for a decade or so. So, um, you know, looking at Lon's career, you know, he has moved around quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, has been at several stops. It's interesting to note, though, he just finished his eighth season at OU. He's been at OU longer than any of those stops. Um, like I mentioned, he's 66. I wouldn't be at all surprised if this is where he retired. Well, and when he left UNLV to come to Oklahoma, Joe Castiglione had to basically twist both of his arms and, like, walk him to Norman. Yeah. He, he really wanted to have Lon Kruger as his coach, and Lon wasn't really looking to leave, but it worked out. Um, but, you know, I'll be curious, Joe, maybe you will too, when this all ends, what the media that have been trying to flesh this out say happened. How did Lon Kruger's name sort of end up in the mix? I guess that's anybody's guess at this point. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, may maybe just, you know, a, a lot of times during these coaching searches, I feel like, you know, people maybe close to the program or boosters throw out some of these names, kind of make the search look better than maybe it's going like, hey, we've reached out to Lon Kruger, Rick Barnes. Now, Barnes does look like a legitimate candidate for the job. Um, I, I think we'll have to see how that goes. But uh, I would be fascinated to, to have an honest discussion with Lon Kruger and, and, and ask him, you know, what he thought of this whole thing. Definitely so. All right, we'll continue to follow it. If Lon Kruger's name pops up yeah. again, we'll talk about it here. So be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoma.